Hey guys, thanks a lot for joining me today. This is obviously my new shelter. As you guys see in the description, the Shelter Logic um, Auto Garage Round Top 1020. And uh, guys, come on, give me a second here. These vents, which are on their websites, I cannot recommend more. Today is a very hot day for me. And I just finished installing these things a couple hours ago, about an hour ago, and somebody dropped by. But um, when I first cut this hole, and even right now, the heat that's coming out of there is incredible. First time, one video I did of my installation of these, I did it at midnight. So, I mean, the next day I came out, and, you know, I, I noticed a significant drop of temperature inside the shelter. But this one here was loaded with the heat, and now I actually feel that heat coming out. It, that's, it, I mean, it's incredible. That is, I cannot recommend these more, guys. I don't work for Shelter Logic. Um, as a matter of fact, they don't even like my reviews for some reason. They won't let me put a review up, but I can't recommend those more. Anyway, so uh, the reason I actually decided to change this out, well, you know, you guys saw my other one. Um, she was all patched up and everything else like that, which that's not necessarily the reason. One of the things that was bugging me was the fact that my car didn't fit in there. Um, and two, I wasn't sure 100% if it was going to be able to last another season. When uh, I went into Canadian Tire with a friend of mine, I knew there was a huge sale on. And I was considering getting a little 6x6 for that guy right there. Because I have a plow for him and, you know, you know, I don't want to be shoveling snow around it. Uh, to get it out when I want to plow. Canadian Tire had this thing on for $249.99. Regular $649.99. Canadian. And so I, I got it for $249. Plus tax, of course, which is, I think, $289. One drawback already I see. There's actually a two draw, uh, drawbacks I see in this thing. Uh, three, actually. I'll, I'll say three things. One thing is, is it is 10 foot wide in, at the base. But then, right where, you know, it matters, realistically, here to here which is your mid-range that's actually like seven foot six side to side so it narrows as it goes up which i don't know why um i didn't really consider that i guess going for a round top but i still managed to uh get this thing pulled over i mean i can't get much closer to that side so it's just unfortunate because i've got all that space up down here the other drawback was they only gave me four anchors. These other anchors that I've got down, I've got two on this side here and I got one in the middle right here. Um, and those were the ones I was able to get up from the old shelter. One of them was in there so good it didn't want to come out. So, uh, boy, I, I guess I know how to put anchors in. And uh, I did keep this section right here from the old shelter. So I put that in there to help stiffen it. And somebody came by before I could really say no and they grabbed my other shelter and I would have liked to have put more bar like the bars across here that were this type um, put them right across there in the middle anyway where I could uh, just to help stiffen that up but it is what it is I guess and I guess we'll have to wait and see the other thing was too is my pulleys door kit which is another product I'd highly recommend I tried to shorten the pipe but it just doesn't work there's not enough weight so it comes up all like it looks like crap when it comes up so i had to keep it in there and again because it narrows so much i mean like if you look down here and then as i come up you just see how much that narrows so i mean where that is at the end down there it's actually you know it's into the side on both sides and that's another thing i never really thought about so that's the three downfalls of it it gets narrow as it goes up um they don't give you enough anchors. You have to buy more anchors. To, I'll, put, I'll put it this way, guys. I had the four anchors in on the side, and as I was putting this tarp on, this whole thing was lifting up. Like, it was just bowing, like, bowing right out. Um, so I had to put other anchors in it. And it's unfortunate that, you know, with shipping, it's cost me another $40, and that's just for the pins, like the anchors. Um, they want, for four, for four of these straps, guys, they want $107. They're on crack. They're, they're, that is retarded. Um, I could go to Canadian Tire and buy a couple of straps and just cut them down short for like 50 bucks. And I could do that. 
Um, actually, like 20 bucks a Canadian tire, to be honest with you, $107. You're, wow. But anyway, I'm going to be putting uh, anchors in on all, all the posts. Uh, this thing is going to, it's going to stay on the ground for sure. And uh, I guess that's it. Like, you know, I've got my light in like I did previously, and I got my hydro in like I did previously. Uh, I'm, I've got a drip mat there so it doesn't contaminate the ground. And what I like about this too is there's enough space in here for me to drive my tractor in sideways keep it out of the snow with the plow on it come winter so that's it guys um one other thing that i learned was that because this thing shrinks over time i put this tarp on kind of loose and uh show you what i mean i can actually put my hand almost sideways in there on all of these posts Every one of them. Sorry, I, I actually the funny thing is I, I'm so trying to keep my hand out of the picture that I, you know, this one's a little tighter, but still, if I go to the outside, sorry I'm not jump cutting this. Yeah, that's the other thing too. Like I keep I didn't bump into this before with my other one. Now because the way the angle is, I keep bumping my head as I leave the tarp or leave the shelter. But anyway, as you guys can see. I mean, you can see where it's kind of resting here, right? But for the most part, if I stand back, you don't necessarily really see where the tarp, uh, where the uh, posts are, except for on the ends. Walk over here. See here, same thing. You can see the one in the center, and that's basically it. Um, and when they say to keep an eye on it, once a month to make sure it doesn't get too tight guys you might want to back it off a little bit so it doesn't get those tears in it but we'll see what this thing's really like for the winter that's my new shelter logic guys look forward to uh more do more videos on this thanks a lot for watching any questions concerns in the comments below please give this video a thumbs up if you like it thumbs down if you don't like it if you don't like it though tell me why guys um, I could probably guess why, but, uh, and then, uh, don't forget to subscribe, of course, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Thanks for watching.